So this is just going to be a quick video on how to test your diesel injectors on a PX4 Ranger. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be running a buzz test uh, using Forescan. I've already got a video on how to connect all that and use it on my channel. So if you're interested in doing that, make sure you check those videos out. And what a buzz test involves is pulsating each one of these injectors uh, based on their firing order and also pulsating them all at the same time. And what I'm going to be listening out for is just differences in the noises and stuff like that. Um, basically, if there's any different sounds coming from the injectors as they individually fire, uh, they, you know, if they're good, they all should sound exactly the same, which will be a nice sort of crisp sound to them. Um, and if obviously if there's one that's failing or failed, um, it's not going to buzz at all or it's going to have a different sound to it. So I'm just going to jump on Forescan now and show you how to load that up. So with Forescan loaded up and connected to the computer of the car, which is the PCM, you wanna, you're going to want to click on this tab right here, which is basically a tab that allows you to go to these various different tests. And the one that we're going to be doing is the key on engine off on demand self test. So what you want to do is tap on that and until it becomes blue, which it is. And basically now you just want to scroll down to this play button here and click on that. And once I do that, it's going to start running a self test and it's going to start firing the injectors individually, which, you know, we'll be able to hear. So it's just asking me vehicle must be be prepared for this test not moving um, transmission range selector should be in park and park brake on which is which it is so just want to click OK and it's going to start the test um, actually first it's going to tell me to switch it in the HS cam position so I'm going to flip that over to the HS cam position which is on the right and now I'm just going to click OK and it should start the test so as you can hear, the injectors are firing now. So as you could hear by that injector test, each one sounded just like the other. There weren't any set of dis, you know, inconsistencies or anything with the sound. Each one as it fired, sounded exactly like the one next to it. Um, I might see if I can find a video online of what a bad injector will sound like, but you'll see that I'll have a different sound to it. So I'll try and throw a video in now. That's all the injectors at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice six was quieter than the others. So what I might do now, just as, a, as an example, is disconnect one of the injectors. Um, you know, let's say injector number two there is disconnected. And I'm gonna run the test again. And basically, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like and what it comes up with on Forescan. So let's do that now. So here we are running the test again with one of the injectors disconnected. So this would be a scenario of where you have an injector that's completely failed, that's, you know, stuck closed, hopefully not stuck open. And um, I'll just run the test now and just see what it sounds like. So as you can see, after all the injectors fired, there was a big pause in before the, the rest of them kicked in. So obviously that would indicate that we've got a, you know, one that's not working. And it's also come up with a cylinder two injector circuit open. So straight away it's telling me that cylinder number two injector, there's something up with that. So this is a good way of, you know, finding out which actual injector has failed instead of having to, you know, do any more diagnosis work of going through all the injectors individually. So that's a wrap up for this video. I uh, hope you found it informative in some way. So this is by no means a leak off test to tell you, you know, what the difference of the flow rates are between your injectors. This is just a basic buzz test to sort of give you an indication of the health of your injectors. 
and if you've got one that's you know standing out from the rest but it's a nice and quick and easy test to do you know it took me about two minutes to do and it's a good way of sort of checking the health of your injectors without having to do any sort of set of testing using specialized equipment um so yeah hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one